Look at this tweet. It's from President Biden. He's blaming high gas prices on Putin and also the oil companies. I can't quite read it, but that's what he's saying. Watch out, no price gouging. Let's bring in Brent Bozell. He's our media watcher of the day. Brent, is the media buying the president's story that it's the oil companies and price gouging and Putin that's screwing around with gas prices? Well, they, they, they have bought the gas company, the, the oil company story for 50 years. Yes, that's true. Uh, this is an old shibboleth that yeah. the left has used. Yep. Um, every time this happens, they blame the oil companies and they happen to get away with it. And the data are out and this is nonsense. Putting that aside, who are, the me uh, who are the media blaming? We're crunching the numbers right now, Stuart, but I'll give you a flavor of what we're finding. Since the war began, we've looked at NBC so far, trying to see who they blame for skyrocketing gas. Since the war began, they've blamed the Russians 16 times, the pandemic seven times, and Joe Biden once. We need to remember this. It's it, how soon we forget that one year ago, we were energy independent as a nation. One year ago, we didn't need to worry about this type of thing. One year, year ago, we had almost record low gasoline prices because we were energy independent. Joe Biden is blaming everyone. He's blaming the Russians. He's blaming the Saudis. He's blaming the oil companies. He's blaming the pandemic. He's blaming everybody but his own policies. And his policies shut down Keystone. They shut down offshore drilling. They've gone after the fracking industry. They've got massive regulations, massive new taxes, and his whole administration is saying every other day we want to put an end to fossil fuels and so he turns around and he blames the gas companies yeah, right you have to say that john kerry the climate czar um a couple of senators aoc the greens essentially the global warmers the global climate warriors these are the people who are really responsible for the rising price of gas because they cut production they of fossil fuels it's their fault to some degree it's a large degree Stuart, I, I, Top to bottom, this administration is being run by incompetent zealots. Uh, their incompetency is everywhere to see, but their zealotry is one that doesn't recognize their incompetency. Um, look what happened the moment the Russia declared war on Ukraine and the world is pivoted on that. What does John Kerry say? Oh, my gosh, what's this going to do to climate change? Right. Right. <laughs> you don't he, want to hit yourself against he, the wall. He, but this is the world view. He actually said, John Kerry actually said, he told the BBC, he hopes that Mr. Putin understands his climate responsibilities. That was his expression right there. Priceless, isn't yeah, it? Yeah. Priceless. He, he, probably, he probably was on his super yacht while he was saying that. I don't think he's got a super yacht. It's not 500 feet long. I think it's a mere 100. But uh, what do I know? I mean, I've not been on his yacht, period. Brent, you're all right. I'm glad for pointing this stuff out for us. When you've done your review you, of other networks other than NBC, Come back and tell us what's going on, will you, please? Absolutely. Uh, You'll be the first to know. They're not Absolutely the will. Thanks, Brent. We'll see you again soon. Thanks a lot. Thanks.